I saw you, but not, not you, the real you, the original Hank Henshaw. I followed him outside, we fought, and I lost. And then I heard the screams. If I hadn't followed him outside, I could have stopped this. The only reason you're still alive is because you chased Hank Henshaw outside. I have never heard of a weapon, bio or otherwise, that can target only alien physiology. And that thing killed everything in that bar except human beings. I would like to bring my mother in to help analyze the crime scene. She specializes in astrobiology. I think she could really help. That's a good idea. Great. Let's get going. No, 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 no. You and I will remain quarantined here at the DEO until we can figure out exactly what sort of toxin we're dealing with. John, this is Cadmus. I know it. They're planning something. My alien sister is not leaving here until we figure out how Cadmus was able to target only aliens. It's better safe than sorry. This is quite a depressing sight. I'm used to celebrating holiday weekends alone at my desk. But we're working does run in the family. If you now I know you're in the holiday spirit. Usually that kind of thought is followed by the backstabbing jibe about how I'm not really a Luther. You never let me forget that I'm adopted. But when it comes to your children, Lex was always your favorite. And you are was your father's. You sound almost jealous. You shouldn't take it all so personally. No parent truly loves their children equally, and though maybe I loved Lex more, I do love you, Lena, in my own way. Wow. Now that we've got the pleasantries out of the way, let me ask, what the hell are you up to? We've hardly spoken since Lex's trial. I thought maybe you called me here to make amends. It's Thanksgiving after all. I see I was mistaken. There's a reporter sniffing about. She's smart. She knows something about you. What is it? I couldn't possibly imagine. See, I know you're lying. And how would you know that? Because you tell me you love me. And we both know that's not true. Thanks for stopping by, Mom. Oh, crap. Oh, sucks for you. My turn. <laughs> Me, please. And you're in jail. That feels appropriate. You'll be out of here soon enough. Both of us will. So don't pout. <laughs> hey, you don't, uh, you don't like me, do you? Of course I like you. No, I mean, like, you don't like me like me. Like you, like you. Sorry, English is my second language. My mom, Eliza, she she thought you were being extra nice to her on Thanksgiving. That's like a thing that boys on this planet do. They're nice to the moms of, of girls they have crushes on sometimes. Crush? Sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following. You don't want to meet with me, do you? Um, <laughs> I mean, have you seen the <laughs> women that I've been attracting, earthlings and otherwise, since I've been on this planet? <laughs> uh, thank you for the clarification. stable for now. Thank wow. But he is infected. Did he pass it on to Clara? The virus is intransmittable organism to organism. You have to come in contact with a weaponized aerosol in order to be infected. Oh, well, that's some good news. There's something else. I isolated a strand of the virus from Manel's blood. Based on the protein code, I'm fairly certain the virus is from Krypton. A Kryptonian virus? How did Cadmus even get its hands on that? My blood. They needed it to get in. To get into what? The Fortress of Solitude.
What happens here? Cars are out. There is an intruder in the fortress. Where? Who is it? You. You are the intruder. And you will be destroyed. Alex. of the planet Krypton. Wait, uh, a virus you created? It was a joint partnership between the science and military guilds. We bioengineered the virus to attack non-Kryptonian physiology. In the event of an invasion, Medusa could be deployed to kill alien combatants while keeping our civilians and infrastructure safe from harm. Growing up, you told me your work saved lives. I was saving Kryptonian lives. It was the perfect weapon. Well, now your perfect weapon is in the hands of my enemy. Henshaw stole the virus's formula from the Fortress of Solitude, which means Cadmus can make as much of the virus as they want. An unstoppable bioweapon that kills every alien except Kryptonians. And use just gets better and better. Well, that explains why Monel is still alive. Kryptonians and Daxmite share similar DNA. So he'll recover? His immune system is battling the virus and he is fighting hard, but without a cure, the infection will win. Well, here's everything I found on the virus at the fortress. Mom and I will get to work on it right away. We'll find a way to combat it. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. So what is it? Oh, I've got the mainframe breaking down the virus on a molecular level. No, I mean, I know you've been trying to tell me something. Oh. No. Hmm? How? Keeping a secret disagrees with you, sweetie. This isn't like that, Mom. Does it? have anything to do with Maggie? You mention her a lot. Oh, my beautiful Alexandra, why? Why is it so hard for you to tell me? I feel like I'm, uh, I'm letting you down somehow. Why would your being gay ever let me down? You always wanted me to have a regular life. Alex, look at the life our family has led. Look at me, look at your sister. I don't, I don't think you believe I ever expected you to have a regular life. You were always gonna be different, Alice, because you were always exceptional, and I love you, however you are. I like this view much better than the stalactites in our last office. <laughs> Here, the lives we've been charged to protect are always in view. Kind of reminds me of the view from my room on Krypton. I can see the whole city from that window. All the lights, pods zooming by. But then again, 
I guess I didn't truly see anything. All my life, I thought my parents were the good guys. And now the more I learn, the more I see things, how they really are. And the more I'm ashamed to be their daughter. Cara, your parents try to protect the planet. They try to save lives. I'm sure Alex and Lily and Luther thought their intentions were good, too. Legacy is not death and destruction, Cars Rail. It's you. Exclusively by Elkor. If Cadmus gets their hands on it, they'll be able to spread the virus across the entire city. There's nothing we'll be able to do to stop them. Maggie, get every available unit you have to Elkor now. Keys, bell, any metal? Hey, wait. Stop! Black Friday, we're taking the galaxy by storm. The new 2017 Nissan Rogue has arrived. And it's at your local dealer during our Black Friday sale. Hurry in for deals on virtually the entire Nissan lineup. Conquer the galaxy. Rogue won a Star Wars story in theaters December 16th. For a limited time, get special Black Friday deals on almost all new Nissan models. Not everyone speaks sriracha. Sriracha. But when a fan says, Sriracha. They want a sriracha chicken sandwich with a signature sriracha jack cheese, sriracha infused aioli, and a sriracha bun. Wendy's spicy sriracha chicken sandwich for a limited time. This Dyson purifier warms you in winter, cools you in summer, and automatically removes pollutants and allergens all year round from your home. Generations making sure only our best makes it from our farms to your home. Cavendish Farms. Find them in your local freezer aisle today. You got a pretty good voice. Thanks. Yes means the world to you. When the world keeps saying no, it gives you room to breathe and room to play. Yes should be easy because life isn't always. 
Yes is something we've said to over 150,000 Canadians who needed a second chance. If the bank isn't an option, we're here with loans up to $15,000, which can help rebuild your credit and put you on a better financial path. Welcome to Easy Financial. You're one step closer to yes. Apply at easyfinancial.com. Introducing the 2017 Nissan Titan. Lease for 24 months OAC from 388 monthly. That's like paying only $89 weekly. Featuring Canada's best five-year truck warranty. It's the Titan of trucks. When people look at me, they see a bully, a delinquent, a problem. People see my outbursts and trips to the principal's office. Or that boy who made your kid cry. People see all these things, they don't see me. My name is Kevin, and I can be more than this. We're here to save them. We are their only hope. I've been in the 21st century for five weeks now, and I am so freaking tired. Something's going on. Tell me. We'll be the truth. The other day we saved the world. Now what do I do? I may have done what I came here to do. Created a future where we're no longer needed. Travelers. New episode tonight at 9. Missed an episode? Catch up now on Showcase.ca. Isotope from Elcor? No. No, but Henshaw didn't get it either. How's Monel? It's not getting better, sweetie, and we're no closer to a cure. There's gotta be something on that crystal from the fortress that'll help. So far, there's plenty describing how to synthesize and disseminate the virus. But I... I don't think they ever even considered a cure. What about Lena Luther? What about her? Lena's mother took the Kryptonian virus and synthesized it on Earth. If Lena is working with her... Lena was shocked to see Henshaw. He would have killed her, too. Eh, uh, Luthers are pretty good actors. Or um, sociopaths. Either way, they, they know how to fool people. No, no. I looked into Lena's eyes. She doesn't know anything about Cadmus and her mother. I know it. Did you stake Monel's life on that? That door's not really an entrance. Yeah, actually, I, I just wanted to thank you for earlier on. Not only did you save the lives of countless numbers of my employees, but mine as well. Now I need your help. Anything. I need help finding your mother. My mother? Your mother is behind Cadmus. She's their leader. You're lying. I'm not. She kidnapped me, and now she possesses a virus that she could wipe out the entire alien population in National City. I need you to help me find her so that she doesn't hurt any more innocent people. You know, I thought you were different. You wear that symbol on your chest and everyone thinks you're good. How many times does your cousin put on that high and mighty costume and come after Lex? 
there's no saint. But you come in here and accuse her of being the devil incarnate. How long before you come after me? I know what it's like to be disillusioned by our parents. But I'm a pretty good judge of character. And you are not like your mother. She is cold and dangerous. And you are too good and too smart to follow in her path. Be your own hero. You can leave the same way you came in. Sorry. You okay? No, oh, I'm okay. Just a little nervous. You're not very good at this. Oh, well, clearly the drugs have kicked in because you are done. Thank you. No. Thank you. For what? Well, I told my mom. You did? How did she take it? Better than me. <laughs> When you, uh, when you first suggested that I was gay, I, uh, I denied it. Then I thought that it was just about you. I mean, how would I not like you? But, you know, deep down, I think I, I still, I wasn't comfortable that that was my new normal. But it is my new normal. And I'm happy that it is. Because, um, I, uh, I don't know, I, fi I finally, I get me. And now I realize that it, it wasn't about you, but it's, it's about me living my life. So, thank you. Anytime. Hey. Hey. Did you learn a power where you can duplicate yourself? So I'm saying to you. No. It's really cool. Oh, no, sorry. No new powers. Just I think the double vision is all you. Oh, so I have a new power. Yeah. Your Earth mother realizes that she thinks I'm dying. I may not have your hearing, but that's pretty good. She's gonna find a cure. It's okay. I've, uh, I've cheated death more times than anyone. It's not okay. You shouldn't be dying. The only reason you are dying is because of my family. Why is it that her best? No, not her. Oh. My birth father created Medusa. He's the reason you are in so much pain, and he's the reason that I can't do anything about it. The Medusa virus. That's why you sent your goon here. Rise to 454. You're in charge of Cadmus. Is this the part where you lecture me? Like you'd lecture Lex? No. What you said before. There was truth in that. Ask me for my help, and I'll give it to you. It's that easy? It's that easy. I didn't think you 
believed in the cause. Then maybe it's time you got to know your daughter a little better. Wednesday at 9 on History. What is it? Radiological alarm. High scope 454 has a radioactive signature, so I set a program to alert us if it was ever moved from the stockpile at L Corp. And let me guess, it's moving. Now, looks like Cadmus is preparing to release the virus at the port of National City. Well, why? The port isn't a drinkable water supply. It's the perfect place to launch the virus in the air. We'll disperse it flying across National City. Tonight, our nightmare ends. Tonight, every alien who has set foot on our planet will die. Because Earth is for the humans. The future is for the humans. We are Catalysts. We have to move right now. Call Alex and get a strike team to meet me at the port now. There's no time, Supergirl. It's just you and me. John, you can't go out there. If the virus spreads... I'll die, I know, but it's afraid I'm willing to accept. No, I am not going to let you do this. I know you're upset about what's happening to you, but I'm not going to let you go on some kamikaze mission. All right, if I die, I want to die as myself. Fighting for what I believe in. Not as a mutant or a show. Let me share the fate of my alien brothers and sisters. Come with me. with pictures of their children. You wear the keys to a bazooka. It's a rocket launcher. And it's yours. Take it. Prove you're with me. Unleash Medusa and and Earth's alien menace once and for all.
Universe alert. I did. And I called the police. says we, she really means she. But Wynn and I watched enthusiastically. While this is good news, it gets even better. The Medusa virus was so easily weaponized, I was able to turn it against a common enemy, John's white Martian blood cells. John, you look great. I feel great. <laughs> Thank you, Eliza. My pleasure. Well, that That's problem is solved. Okay. Yeah, me too. I don't know what you would have done without me. <laughs> so are, are we going to talk about what happened? Yes. Yes, I want to hear all about how you chased that missile down. No, I, I mean, are we going to are we gonna talk about what happened in between us while you were dying? I what, what happened? What did I do? Uh, you drooled. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> but that, that was... That was it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. We'll get some rest. the pajamas. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> you, uh, it's late. You got a case or something? Oh, God, I could really use a good old-fashioned murder right now. You know, I, I didn't come here for work. I, I just, I really needed to see you and talk to you. Is everything okay? Um, well, here's the thing. I, I almost died. Uh, yeah, no, I would not have let that happen. Wait, I know that, but, um, it got me thinking that I, I was so stupid. I, I thought that, it, and I guess I was kind of right, that you, you came out for me, and that scared me. Um, but, um, my life is too short. She kissed the girls that I want to kiss. And I really just... I, I want to kiss you. And why the less bullets fast to you are you saying you like me? That's, that's what I got. Of course, you're not going to go crazy on the area. Probably. Yeah. Finally! This better be the right place. Because if this is 
at the right place, someone's about to be real confused. Barry! Hey! I knew it! I knew that was you! I knew it was you in that weird space yeah. portal thing! Hi! It took a couple tries to get here. Oh, this is my friend Cisco. Oh, friend is a loose train. We work together. Hi, Cisco. I have to say it. This... It's a nice universe you got here. Thank you. Okay, do you remember last year when um, I helped you out and you promised to do the same for me? What are we up against? To be continued.